there we go now we're recording all right so this can go up on youtube as well maybe earn three cents all right shall we get started with um maybe change the thumbnail or title will help i spent days on the on the on the thumbnail <laughs> literal days <laughs> doesn't matter anyway let's let's uh um let's start with bulbasaur i think apart from like I mean, he's got vines that whip, but I, I don't think vines could be all that strong. I, I think personally, like, he's sure he could have poison powder and, like, stun spore and stuff, but just don't breathe in, man. Just punt him across the room before he can do it. I think, I think, I think I kill Bulbasaur pretty quickly. Like, if we get a gladiator ring, like, yeah, he could, he could shoot leaves at me and stuff, but I, I don't, I don't think he's doing much. Where's my drink? There it is. If I really wanted money, I'd just do a Pokemon stream, uh, my Pokemon region, and just be like, hey, if you want to be a secret boss in the game, give me a thousand dollars. All right. Uh, we got Ivysaur as well, which I feel like is kind of just the slightly stronger version of Bulbasaur. I think it still eats dirt. Because it's not that much bigger, right? It's just a little bigger. I think I still beat it pretty handedly. Assuming it's not like, uh, it, sure, it could bite me. But if it, even if it just clamps down, then its attention is on my leg or whatever, and then I can just, you know, strangle it. Or poke its eyes out. They've got pretty big eyes. It'd be pretty easy to poke the eyes out. Uh, G Max Venusaur? I think I could take that. <laughs> Not, not, the, not the fact that it would crush me in one stomp and I could, literally couldn't do anything. This is imagining I'm like, just like barely clothed in an arena. No weapons. You know, manhandle that shit. Like if I had a, like a, like a rocket launcher, maybe I could beat it. But I, I ain't touching that with my bare hands. Vines are extremely durable. Yeah, but I don't think you could get that much power behind vines. All right, same with uh, Venusaur, uh, Mega Venusaur, and regular Venusaur. They're like giant reptiles, right? With cat ears. So, how big is a Venusaur? Hang on, let me open up like another tab. Uh, Venusaur size. Two meters. Is that two meters tall or two meters long? If it's two meters tall, I got no fucking chance. But honestly, I think its mouth is big enough to the point where all it needs is to get one like good chomp on me, and I and I I'm I'm done. I can't really get out of that. So I think I think I still turn to dust. I don't think there's much of a chance for me on those ones. I don't think I could strangle it. I don't think I could... Like, maybe I'd have a chance if, if like, I ripped out its leaves, if that would do anything. <laughs> but I don't think it would. The worst I could probably do to Venusaur is, like, become mild indigestion. With my big-ass bones. It's 220 pounds? Isn't that only, like, 100 kg? I'm, like, 100 kg. How the hell are we the same weight? There's no way. If it really is the same weight as me, maybe it's not as strong as I think. But then again, I'm going to go off of like actual realistic ideas because Pokemon weights are like all over the place. Some Pokemon are way too heavy. Some Pokemon are like way, way too light. A lot of them are way too light. Like Venusaur here should like, if he really is two meters tall, he should weigh like a fucking 500 kg. He should weigh like the size of a horse or more. Probably more. Alright, Charmander. Yeah, I beat Charmander. Like, sure, he shoots fire at me. And it hurts a lot. I mean, unless he, like, lit me up on... But I, I, if I was, like, barely clothed, I, I don't think there's much to catch on fire apart from my hair. I still think if I can get to him, I, I can... Str like, chances are, I'd strangle him pretty easy. Like, once I get to him, he's dead. Because they just turn his head away from me. And start like stomping on his neck. <laughs> I think Charmeleon is 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 a is, is a tough one, stronger fire, but also like, well, he's got the claws. 
He's got the bite force. I'm feeling like... It'd be like fighting an upright alligator with, like, some, you know, fire powers. The question is, could I, could I strangle one of those? I think I could. But I think I'd have to run through fire to get to him. Yeah, and I, I don't know whether or not I could do that. I'd have to, Which like, try to get around them. Killing? It depends. Oh, thanks, Celestial Toast, for the subscription. Thank you very much. So I'm, I'm going to say chances are I'd win. But, like, it, it would, it, I think it would be close. I think, I think it would be quite close. Like, if he got, uh, uh, like, a, like, a good grip and started, like, shooting flame out. It, it, like, even if I did win, I would die from, like, infection or some shit. Uh, GMAX Charizard, I, well, I mean, I, I burn up in, like, 0.5 seconds. Uh, I think same goes for, like, all of these... Final evolutions, there's, there's no fucking chance. Like, maybe if I got onto his back and stabbed his eyes out, I'd have a shot that, like, even with, with his arms being so scrawny and tiny, I, I think I'd still, like, he'd just have to grab me with his long-ass neck and, like, whirl me around, and I would he'd snap my neck pretty quick. Wouldn't be too hard for him. Uh, Squirtle. Yeah, this, is a, this is an interesting one. He shoots water. I would imagine he's got like a snapping turtle bite. So that would hurt, but I don't I don't think it would kill me. It might snap a bone. But you know, eventually he's gonna have to grab on the like he's got water, he shoots water, that's not gonna kill me, buddy. I, it, like unless it's like fire hose, but I'm I'm just imagining he doesn't quite have that power behind him in the real world. I I, I think I would win, but I'd have to get through that shell, because he can go in the shell. Cat, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Is she biting that? Hang on. Hey. Get off that. He's wet. You went outside in the rain. Hang on, I got you, cat. I got a towel. Come here. Come here. He doesn't like it when we do this. He doesn't like the towel. All right, fine. You can stay wet. My other cat used to love the towel. She'd come in wet, grab the towel, she'd run into it. This cat's like, no, don't, you'll leave me wet. I want to stay wet. All right, water turtles. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be hardest to kill Squirtle because, uh, you know, the, the shell. But eventually I would get through. Unless he would, like, shoot water from his mouth while in the shell and hit me in the head. But it'd have to be really accurate. I feel like I'd be able to dodge it. So I, I think I think most likely, like, this is most likely I'd win. What thought was tougher, though? I don't know. I think he could probably... He's bigger. He's, he's like, the size of, like, what? A small child? He's not gigantic. But it would be really hard to get him like a headlock or something. He'd have to bring out his head and then I'd have to try and grab his neck from there. But. Let's get some background music up in here. It's kind of awkward without it. I mean, you can always turn on some music. But I guess, I guess that's an option. Let's see. What do you guys want to listen to? Let's go, uh... Chill Sonic music. We can go with some Pokemon music. I don't, I don't know, like, what the, uh... Pokemon Town music. Let's see, there's, like, a compilation of town themes. Well, there is. Uh... V7 and V6? I don't, I don't... I mean... Nostalgic... Pokemon music playlist to relax after a stressful day, study or to just chill. One hour. Thanks, Suprex. That sounds good. How's that, guys? I don't know how loud it's, like, how loud we want it to be. Is that all good? Not too loud? Not too soft?
I think, honestly, I'm just thinking about this realistically. I, I don't know if, um... I, I don't know if I could kill Wartoro, but maybe th th that's more so just because of the shell. But I think, like, if I slam him into a wall enough times, I could probably kill him. Like, if I can grab his back feet or something and, like, hurl him into a wall over and over and over again, this is very violent. But like, I'm, I'm going on the idea that these things will not stop and they're trying to kill me until, you know, until I'm dead. Like, it's either them or me. I think I could win. I would just have to, like, avoid the mouth. It would be a struggle, though. So I'm, I'm just going to put this in chances I would win, because it would be a struggle. Probably a hair lower. Put it, put a little lower, you say? How's that? It's a tiny bit lower, maybe a little more. Probably overthinking this. How's that? Volume perfection. Okay, uh, these ones are obvious. Uh, I'm getting, like, like, the only thing that, you know, like in cartoons, that someone gets blasted by a laser and all that's left just, like, their smoking feet? That'll be me after Mega Blast Toys' like, cannon. There's, not, there's nothing happening there. This one, too, he, if he gets a hold of me, or, like, spins at me, I'm dead. Like, there's no way I can catch his shell or anything, it's just too big. He kills me immediately. Caterpie! Worst he can do is, like, shoot some web at me. I- I crush him in the dirt. I stand on him and he goes splat. Uh, Metapod also, same sort of deal. Worst thing he can learn is tackle and it's a fucking Metapod. Uh, no matter how hard your external shell is, enough hits from the outside will send shockwaves through and still hurt you. It's like the way your skull works, right? Like, your skull's super hard, and even if it doesn't break when you get in, like, an accident or something, you can still get a concussion because your brain gets hurt inside and it wobbles around like jelly. That's the same sort of thing with Metapod. This is Gigantamax, I can't beat that. It's Mothra. Uh, Butterfree. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of imagining, like, Pokemon moves don't really... Again, uh, maybe I should write this down somewhere. Do you get a gun? No, no, no gun. This is bare hands. It's like it's like a gladiator duel with no weapons. I've been I've been thrown into the lions, and the lion is one Pokemon. I don't know why Bonk didn't go off. Unless it did, and I didn't hear it. Anyway, uh, it's a sound effect for anybody watching who doesn't realize. <laughs> It, uh, <laughs> it, it showed up on the thing, but it did come in. It did eventually? Oh, I don't hear it. Uh, so it's a big, big-ass butterfly, essentially. I think I could beat it because butterfly wings are not very strong. It could do, like, bug buzz, I guess. Could send some spores at me, but again, like, this is assuming I could grab it. It could poison me from really high up, and then... Because I've got bare hands, I can't throw it. I it could maybe, like, throw a rock at it, if there's rocks. So if I, if, I, if I can hit it with a rock, might be able to win if I can pierce its wing and it can't really fly well. So I, I would say most likely I would win. Like, if I can get my hands on it, it dies. There's no way it wins, because I could just pull everything off of it. The wings, the antenna, grab the eyes and pull them off, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's really gross to think about, but I would win. I, there, there's no way I lose that one. I could just shove my hand in through the giant eye holes on its head. Like, I, I, I really, I really do think I, I would win that one, no problem. But again, this is imagining like it's realistic. And again, like realism would have like Charizard fucking getting crushed under its own weight, but you know, whatever. Uh, Weedle. Now, Weedle is poisonous. Uh, so... He's got, like, a scorpion tail stinger, and he- he can poison you. I don't know if the poison would be so venomous it would kill me, but judging from, like, other bugs... 
generally speaking, most poisonous like bugs don't kill you with their venom. In fact, I would say there's like a very, very low percentage of bugs that can kill you with a sting. Like there's like certain spiders. Um, but generally like most of them can't. And this is like not even a spider. This is this is like a caterpillar or a, or a maggot. I, I think even if he does manage to, to pierce me with his with his like little horn or whatever, unless he's super strong, which I doubt it. Like, I don't think he could pierce my heart, like, and go through my ribs. I think I still win. I think I just crush him in the middle, like, like I just wait, and then I... I don't even know how the hell Kakuna would, uh, would poison sting me, because technically in the games when you catch him, he could only learn harden. But if you've evolved him from a Weedle, he still knows, you know, poison, sting. Uh... But I think that's more of like a, a Pokemon thing rather than like a realism thing. So I think I kill Kakuna the exact same as I do Metapod. He'd be pissed off, but I would be destroying him. Ah, Mega Beedrill. He's very fast. He'd probably fly straight at me and pierce my chest wide open. I think I, I think I died like... I mean, at least I can grab both of his stingers, but it, even if I can grab both of his stingers, like his big ones, he's still got like three more. There's no way I, I, I there's no way I win that one. The, the only thing I'd be able to do is like, nah, because even if I grab like the very tip of his like stinger, like even if I manage to grab him by the tail, he can still bend forward and stab in the face. There's no way. Uh, regular Beedrill, however, uh, he's still got three. But I, and I, I, again, I could pull off his wings and I doubt he could move very well because he's only got two little legs. I don't even know how he's staying up there, to be honest. I could also probably pull off his arms. Like, he doesn't, doesn't look like he's got a lot of power behind those arms, to be honest. They're very, they're very thin. I, I think, how big is Beedrill? What, what's Beedrill's size? Beedrill is, is not huge, right? He's like maybe like half a meter big. Be drill size. One meter. Okay, he's the size of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> That's a big fucking bee. Are the uh are the stingers like are they too thick? Would they get stuck? I don't know. I I'm thinking I might be able to win, to be honest. Like, assuming he doesn't have all that much power behind his, like, arms. Because, like, they're, they're stick thin. Come on, let, let's be honest. I, th I think chances are I could win that one. Like, Mega Beedrill's a different beast. He's super fast. He's got, like, the power. You can see he's got, like, extra thorax. Like, beefy, like, beefing up his stings there. He doesn't have the tiny, tiny arms like the, the ones beforehand. Well, he does up there. But, like, he's got the other ones down below. And he'd probably have the speed to stab me straight up. But this one, I don't know. Then again, it is in the sky. It could probably shoot a stinger. Can it shoot stingers? Not from what I can see here, physically. Like magical stingers, Pokemon stingers, maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Watch the video and it's funny as fuck. Well, thank you. Please tell your friends. I think with all the positive comments I've gotten about that video, I think I maybe will stick to the little animated segments, but... I'll definitely have to make fewer of them per video because it took way too long to do the FNAF video. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say fair fight. Like, you guys are thinking of Pokemon? I'm thinking, like, reality. His arms are, are too fucking, like, thin to have that much power behind them. There's, like, no muscle there. Like, I can just rip off its wings. Rip off its arms. Yeah, there's no way it's got the, like, the power necessary to, like, have those things hang on. It's a bug. I'm gonna say fair fight, but it, honestly, I think, like, if I can grab it, I win. But if it stabs me really... If, if it's super fast, that's fine. Problem is, I don't know how fast it can fly. If it's agile enough to actually, like, fly straight at me and sting me in the head or in the neck or something, I'm dead. But, like, 
It's not super fast in the games. It's fairly fast. All right, Pidgey. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I think I'd kill a Pidgey, yeah. right? It's what, like 30 centimeters big? It's None like... of them, you big nosed freak. The only one way you beat any of them is in a sizable nose contest. Well, that's, that's a rough one. A way to kick a guy when he's down. Uh, but thanks for the money, Scott. <laughs> I appreciate that, at least. <laughs> anyway, killing Pidgey is like killing a hawk. I think I could do it. I mean, I can. I could definitely do it. It's not... Uh, Pidgeotto is a little bit bigger. It's just a slightly bigger Pidgey. I mean, it's got the talons and it could pick me, but I, I don't know if it could actually kill me, to be honest. It would have to come down and swoop at me eventually, and when that happens, you know, I grab it and I break its wings. So I think I think I would still win against Pidgeotto. Again, I'm imagining these guys without, like, super powerful, like, ultra moves, like Blast Burn or, you know, Hurricane, things like that. Because if every Pokemon could learn their, like, strongest move, I would die immediately. Like, Charmander would just use Blast Burn, I would die, or Overheat, and engulf the arena in flames. Like, we gotta be slightly realistic with these. That was so mean. <laughs> Love you, bud. Thanks. Uh, Mega Pidgeot? I mean, probably just with its... You could probably just slam into me and I'd probably die from... I, I, I think the Megas are, like, too powerful for me. Pidgeot? Uh... Ooh. I don't know about that one. It's just, it's a big, like, these birds are getting really, really big to the point where, like, Pidgeot's probably, like, half steagle size. But, like, even bulkier. And probably tougher, too. I don't know if breaking its wing... I'd have to, like, get it on the ground and then also stand on its wing to break it, but I, I don't know if I could do that. Pidgeot is 1.5 meters tall. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, if that's it, it's like standing up, I'm assuming, like just standing on its legs. It is smaller than me. And if I jump on it, it probably can't carry me just from like, again, I don't know how strong it is, but like I, I can learn flying the games, but it's like Pidgey can learn flying the games. Like I'm going to say that's Pokemon magic right there. I'm thinking realistically, it, it definitely wouldn't be able to carry me if I jumped on its back. Could it turn its head like 180 degrees like Hoot Hoot and fucking pick my eyes out? I think I could win. I think I could win against Pidgeot. Like, just thinking realistically. It would have to come down and hit me. Then I'd have to grab it, pull it to the ground, and then do some shenanigans. I, I think chances are I would win that one. I would, I would get hurt, like, a lot. I'd probably even maybe, like, lose a lot of blood. But I think I could win, like, eventually. It only weighs 40 kg. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably win that. All birds could do 180 head turn, I think. No, that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Go find your pet parakeet right now and twist its head 180 degrees. It'll, it'll love it. All birds can do that. Okay, there, there's a couple of rats here. I went against the rats. They have a strong bite, but I stand on them. They, they die. Uh, eradicate. I'm gonna put these, like, bulk them both into the same... Uh, category. How big is rat? Like, eradicate's only, like, maybe a little... 50 centimeters? Eradicate size. I think I could kick it. Like, it, its teeth would probably do a nasty amount. It'd chop off some fingers and stuff, but... Its height is two feet. Yeah, I win. Like, I, I, I kick this guy across the room. He, 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 he dies. Look at those tiny arms. He can't skitter up to me fast enough. I can run up to him and punt him. Two feet. Yeah. I, I think I still, like... Hmm. He's pretty, like, bulky with his... 
might be harder to kill him than I initially thought. I think chances are he would win. I think he j he looks kind of sturdy. I'm going to be honest. You don't want to mess with rats. If he gets a good bite and you're gone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, if he bites like an artery or something. But I think the chances are I would win. All right, Spiro. Uh, same sort of deal with Pidgey, I think. Fero, on the other hand. So that's like a flying, like, ostrich. A flying cassowary. I don't know about this one. It's got a huge beak, although a very thin neck. That is like a, that's a good point to, to attack. It's kind of the similar deal with Pidgeot. I think it's around the, the same size. I think it'd be more intimidating than it actually is. Again, it's a bird, so it is very light. So I think 1.2 meters, 38 kg. Yeah, I think I still win. I think it's on the same sort of deal as Pidgeot, but it's got an even thinner neck, so it's got even more, like, weak points. I think I win that even easier than Pidgeot, to be honest. Pidgeot at least has, like, the, you know, a little bit of barrier there. Ekans. Oh, it's a poisonous snake, so I'm gonna imagine I'm just kind of fighting a fucking black mamba here. Although I don't think that the poison is necessarily as potent. I think it's bad, but I don't think it's that bad. I think I absolutely kill Ekans before any poison can take effect. Uh, Arbok. It's fairly big, I think. I think he, he, like, look at all that muscle down there. Depends how big he is. 11 feet long. 11 feet. That's... Three feet is a meter. So... Three meters. It's over three meters. It's like almost four meters long. A four meter long snake. And it's all muscle? Yeah, I, I don't think there's any way I win that shit. Unless I poke its eyes out, but... I think that's most likely a loss for me. And it's got the poison sting on top of that. I'd have to like strangle it real like I have to leap at it when it's doing it's like it's pattern thing. I, I think I think it's most likely most likely a loss right there. There's not much to like I'd have to go straight for the head. There's no other option. You also probably lose against Ekans as well. It's six feet long and very venomous. Yeah, Ekans only being six feet though. Uh, six feet, and it is thick. It's got a lot of muscle. But I could stand on its head. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> I, I I, think it would be a lot... I, you know, I, the chances are I'd win. It could still strangle me, I guess. But, like, I think I could still kill it. It'd be a lot harder to kill Arbok. Like, way harder. Because it's... Oh, look at all that muscle... Like, if that's, if that's 12 feet of pure muscle, or 11 feet of pure muscle, that, that's fucked up. I say the beefiest snake you've ever seen. It's snakes are strong. Do you know how to catch a snake, Rob? Yeah. You jump on it. <laughs> With all your might. Eakins could probably constrict it to death. Yeah, but you'd have to get there in the first place. I could probably, like... Because, like... In order to constrict me, he'd have to move his head around me, which means... Assuming I keep at least one arm ready, I can grab his head and bite into his face. You know? <laughs> you gotta remember that. Okay, Pikachu. I, I don't even want Pikachu on the list, because... It's annoying to have this many Pokémon, like, all strung up together there. Is there a way I can just delete him from the... What if I go Inspect? Can I just delete him from the... I can just delete them. <laughs> All right, die, Pikachu. We don't want any of you in here. All of these guys are the same shit. This is gonna make the uh, the list a lot easier. Being able to do this. Uh, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. All right. <laughs> okay. 
I feel like Pikachu is a fair fight. Like, if you get up to him, you just murder him. Yeah, that's right. And to be honest, well, Gigantamax, first of all, crushes me underneath his giant weight. Um, he just electrocute you and you're dead. Yeah, but I'm I'm going off of, like, how much electricity could a tiny little rodent actually hold? In, in reality. Remember, this is, a, this is a world where, like, Pokemon come to the real world. I don't think it could hold that much electricity. There's no way it can hit me with like a lightning strikes amount of power. It just, there's no way. It cannot. It is unrealistic. Otherwise, again, otherwise I could just say like, oh, uh, fucking Rattata uses explosion and I die. You know, that sort of stuff. It, it's kind of based on physical traits more than the magical traits. But Pikachu's whole thing is electricity. And it's mostly static electricity. Doesn't it rub its cheeks or something? Or is that a different Pokemon I'm thinking of? Pikachu can hold a lot of electricity. Yes, I know that, but th this is... That's in the games. In the games, Pikachu can hit you with the strike of a fucking lightning thing. It can kill an elephant with lightning. But... In reality, a fucking... A quokka with, with some zappy powers is not going to beat an elephant. <laughs> right? <laughs> like... <laughs> I think I'd beat Pikachu, because, like, I'd get zapped... But it would be like a very, it'd be a strong zap, but it wouldn't be like enough to, enough to kill me, I don't think. The electricity stored in a special organ in his cheeks. But how much could that really store? Guys, I get it. You want your Pokemon to be ultra powerful and win. But, but it's, it, it, I, I'm not basing this in the Pokemon world. If I was basing it in the Pokemon world, I would lose against every single Pokemon. There's, there'd just be no way I'd even be able to do the tier list. I think I win against Pikachu. I'll give you guys like some benefit of the doubt where like he's got pretty strong lightning. Maybe it'll stop my heart. But I think if I got to him, he would die. I mean, he'd, he'd you know, like, for example, if I was going to go in Pokemon logic as well, Ash has been zapped by Pikachu, I don't know how many times. Team Rocket has been zapped by Pikachu, I don't know how many times. Pikachu always with full force, zapping Team Rocket, by the way. And they never die. So, like, you know, at worst they get, like, ash on their face. You know, or they get burnt up. So, I, I think I think I win, definitely. Like, it, freak chance that, like, it stops my heart with a lightning strike, but same thing with Raichu. Uh, and Alolan Raichu. Psychic powers are a bit iffy, but... I feel like... I don't know. There's not much in the arena for it to throw with Psychic. You can throw me around, I guess. But, like, then every Psychic Pokemon would win. I'm just gonna kind of have to go off physical traits there. So anime logic is okay, but game logic isn't? Listen, I'm saying both logics are not being taken into consideration. I'm just- I'm just proving my point that Pikachu is not as strong as you guys think. Alright, Sandshrew. Uh, this is Icy Sandshrew and Regular Sandshrew. I think they're kind of on the same... I mean, Icy Sandshrew has... It's kind of like trying to fight like a, uh... A, uh what are those things called? A, a pa Palaquin or whatever it's called? I can't remember. Is Palaquin a Pokemon? It doesn't have very big claws. It has big claws on its feet. Those could rip open some, like, guts or something. And it can roll in a ball. However, I don't think it's that much of an issue. I think once, you, once you're able to stand on his back and stop it from moving, I, I think we win that one. Sand Slash, on the other hand, I think I absolutely, if I'm winning this one, I'm losing some organs. Like, I'm getting disemboweled. That, 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 that one's a fucking... Like, I would have to get in under it to pull its jaws apart or something. <laughs> but I, I think this is closer to I Become Dust than it is Fair Fight. Like, it, it's it's on the very, like, I could win this, but I'm probably not going to. Like, most likely, like, 95% or 90% of the chance. Sorry, I, I disconnected. Uh, 
yeah, uh, ninety percent of the time, I, I'm 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 getting I'm getting gutted straight away. I'm waiting for my OBS to reconnect to the. Uh, uh, please, can I move? Get some better internet, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, please. All right, Nita ran. Uh, it's poisonous, but I think I still stomp it into the dirt. I think that one's fairly obvious. Same with Nita Arena. Uh, Nito Queen. That thing's armored, isn't it? I don't think I win that one. And it's got a giant jaw. It looks like a snapping turtle's jaw to me. It's probably very heavy as well. I don't, I'm not sure how big it is. I don't think it's as tall as me, but I, I think it's too bulky for me to do anything about. I think that one wins. No problem. I think I do win these ones. Oh, Nito. Nito Reno, though. He looks a lot, like, sturdier than Need Arena. Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. We're back. <laughs> the gym 15. I had to blow my nose, but... I can't believe people still remember the gym 50. Ah, <laughs> uh, the gym 50. Oh, that reminds me. I've created like a whole egg lock thing for Neil, and he still hasn't done it. If anybody else wants to stream it, I can send you the, the save file. I'll put it in the Discord, actually. You mean to pick like six eggs and then do a Nuzlocke? Well, not a Nuzlocke, a whiteout lock is what I call it. Just you play through the game with the eggs and the moves that I gave the eggs and the item that I gave the eggs. Um... And you use those six Pokemon throughout the whole game, and if you white out at any point, you gotta restart with six different eggs. Anyway, uh, Nidorino, uh, it's got a lot of poisonous spikes on his back, but the spikes aren't that... They're not, they're pretty blunt, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think they're gonna do any damage to me. I think it's got a, it's got a big jaw, but I think I still win this, actually. I think there's not really much of a chance he wins. It'd be like fighting like a... A small pig with some spikes on it, but the spikes are kind of blunt. Nido King, no way I win though. He grapples me and eats, bites my head off. Clefairy is dead. The Fable's dead. Vulpix with ice? I, I don't think so. I think I, I think I smash that thing in the dirt. Same thing with Vulpix with like Charmander. Same sort of deal. I think I stomp on its back. Although it is fast. It's probably faster than Charmander. Or any of the starters. So maybe it could just keep away from me and keep shooting embers, hot embers at my face. But I, I think I still eventually win. Because if I manage to grab it, 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 it's done. You wouldn't hurt Clefable? What do you mean? It's a big puffball. I, I poke its eyes out, rip off the wings on its back, Break its arms and legs, and it can't do anything. It'd just be sitting there like a pillow. And it can't run away. Look at those tiny stubby little legs. Why would you hurt it? Oh, you wouldn't hurt Clefable. Like, I, I wouldn't do it. Well, this is, this is a world where, like, all of these guys are coming at me to kill me. Clefable is waddling at me with, with intent to kill. It's awful to think about, but, like... This is just, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. Okay, Alolan Ninetales, that's like fighting a wolf. Or just a very large fox with some icy powers. I'd get very cold. But I, 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 I maybe, maybe could win. It depends how strong it is. Is it as big as a wolf? If it's as big as a wolf, there's no way I win. Ninetales size. It's three foot tall. I'm putting my hand up next to me just to get like a visual indicator. Also, I disconnected from chat again. That's great. Oh, I'm back. All right, cool. I was checking nine tail size, everybody. Uh, it's not as big as a wolf, I don't think. Three foot tall. It's only as tall as Sonic. I think I win. I think I win that one, but it's got a chance to do like a good amount of damage to me. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the stream disconnecting. I don't know what's going on with the internet today. 
I really need to move. Uh, once we move into town, it'll be it'll be a bit easier to stream. In fact, it'll be a lot easier to stream. I won't keep disconnecting. Nigger. Nibbit. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What did I just say? I think I just accidentally said the N-word. I'm so sorry. I did... I was meaning to say never, and then like I half burped and it came out wrong. Never check nine tail size. One meter high large dog. Yeah, I think I could win against that. I, I don't I don't think it's like it's bite it's bite force I don't imagine it would be it'd be like fighting a medium sized dog. Or a large dog. I think I'd probably win. Nine tails with flamethrower though, I don't think I win. I think I think I probably lose that one. But if I if I can get my hands on it, I win. Guys, please. I didn't actually say the N-word. <laughs> or I didn't mean to, at least. I'm sorry. Oh, Jigglypuff. Assuming Jigglypuff can actually put me to sleep with a song. But if it's trying to kill me, is it trying to sing me to sleep? That is the question. I just kind of block my ears, run at it. Because I know Pokemon, and I know Jigglypuff would be trying to get me to go to sleep. So I guess I would block my ears, run at it, and then kick it really, really hard. Or immediately shove my hand in its mouth, and then start stabbing its eyes out with my fingers. My fingernails, you know? Clawing its eyes. <laughs> I think same thing with Wigglytuff. I think I win those pretty, pretty handedly. Uh, cause I, I know it's a gimmick. I know what it's trying to do. All right, let me get, I keep disconnecting. What's the, what's the problem with, it just keeps going down to zero and then back up. Oh, I'm glad I'm recording this. Uh, I'm going to put a little thing on the screen. Cause I'm desperate for money. I, I actually am. I'm I'm very desperate for money. Where's my chat? Uh, where's my uh, text thing? I think I deleted it. Let me add it. Let me add a little text thing. I'll just do. Uh, I don't want somebody to spam dollar donation, so I'll do five dollars. Uh, and I'll say. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do three dollars. You know, two dollars. Two dollar uh, request. A Pokemon. I gotta make some money off from my fucking FNAF video. Alright, how do I change the the text? Uh, give it a little outline. How do I change the size? <laughs> I'll select font. There we go. I'll go lemon. Lemon days. I love that one. Size. Seven. That's way too small. Let's go 22. See how that goes. Nope. Let's go 48. No, keep it like this. No one will ever know. I'll put it over here. I gotta also change the outline color. Oh, cool. I get a... <laughs> I get a raid while I'm trying to be greedy. No! <laughs> Wait, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I'm just trying to get some money. Oh, wait, it is what it looks like. Oops. Anyway, thanks, Failure101. Nice name. So if anybody has a request, it's two dollars. <laughs> two bucks! <laughs> Alright, Zubat. I win against Zubat. Like, he'll keep screaming at me from the rafters, but as soon as he comes down to bite me, I grab him and fucking <laughs> eat him. I bite his head off like fucking what's-his-face did. I can't remember who it was. A singer? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I beat him. I think same goes for, for you're undercharging. Uh-oh. Better make it go up. Three dollars. Thanks, failure. <laughs> and now it's three dollars. <laughs> oh, 
Ozzy Osbourne, that was it. Thank you. Uh, Golbat, I think it's the same sort of deal. It's got a big, chompy bite. But where the heck is all, the, all those internal organs going, right? Where, 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 where do they be hanging? So, like... I can't imagine it do that much. I, I think I kill it. Just break its legs and wings. It's fine. We win. Same goes for Oddish. Break apart like a melon under my foot. I feel. Maybe not even. Maybe it's like a sack of dirt. Or a sack. Like, like, it's probably like an orange, I would imagine, in structural integrity. So when I stand on it, it just goes... <laughs> oh, wait, it's like a radish, isn't it? So it would be hard, but not that hard. I wonder if, like, I could do this again, but, like, I, this time I have a oh, gun or a sword or something or a knife. Request the Chimp 50. The Chimp 50? Well, all right. Jesus, it's gonna be... Well, the Chimp 50 was a, a, a Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. Can I drag more than one at once? I can't. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, well, Gibble... He's tiny. I, I, I beat him. He's got a big bite, but I think I still beat him pretty handedly because he's tiny. I just stand on him. Let's go, uh... Let's go check... Uh, where the fuck is he? Oh my god. I'm glad I know the general idea of where they are, at least. Gabite is like a standing little alligator man. He's got those big stabbers at the front, but he's got very... Like, if you look at his arm shape, it's actually very thin. I don't think he can put a lot of force and power behind his stabs, so it's mainly you're, you're worrying about his head and his bites. I think I still win that. He'd have to get a really lucky stab in somewhere, like in my neck. Or bite my neck or something, but I, I think most likely I win. Gym 50 was uh, Garchomp, if I remember correctly. I think I remember correctly. Uh, and Garchomp, I, I don't think there's any way I win that. That guy's too fast. He runs at me and bites my ears off, and then I'm dead. That was a fairly easy one. I think Gabite's probably the most... Because honestly, he's not that big, right? Gabite size. He's like a meter. I'd imagine they tend to... Four feet. And seven inches. Okay, he's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. All right. I still don't think he can get a lot of power behind his uh, stabs, but... I think that I think that the main... I think he's probably pretty sturdy, because he's got, he's got rough skin, right? So again, I probably have to stab him in the eyes, rip off those little, like, bulbous things on the side of his head. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be bloody. By the end of it, I would be very, very sore. I'd probably have many, many slashes. All right, next up is Gloom. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't against Gloom. Look at those tiny little fucking arms. There's, there's no way he does anything to me. <laughs> Same with Vileplume. He's just a big flower. He could put spores in the air, but again, block my nose. Even closing my eyes would work because it's fucking Vileplume. He's not running anywhere with those feet. He's waddling. Uh, Paris, there's no way he wins. Parasect, those are some pretty big claws. But again, they're held together by fucking bug limbs. And it's just a mushroom on his back. I rip off the mushroom and the host dies. Because the mushroom is just keeping the host alive at that point and it's just taking over its brain, right? So if I kill the mushroom, what does the parasect come back to life? Or like, is it too late because it's taken over its brain? I think I win that one. Because they have to scuttle towards me. Parasect is very, very slow. I simply jump onto him, jump onto his back, crush the mushroom, and he's dead. So it's like a big pile driver straight into the mushroom. This is a very grim stream. Oh, yeah. I didn't think it would be this violent, but it kind of has to be in order for me to, like, say how I would dispatch the Pokemon. Pretty sure you punching either one of those would 100% infect you with whatever killed them in the first place. Well, I mean, if you think about it, the mushroom, it's like the, it's like the Cordyceps virus, right? Is, that Cordy is it Cordyceps? Is that the right one? It just takes over his brain. I don't think it's necessarily poisonous. It can learn moves like Poison Powder, but the Pokemon itself is not Poison type. And it does have a effect Spore. But again, Spores need to like get into your lungs. 
So just hold my breath, jump onto the mushroom, the guy dies, I'm pretty sure. There's like 99% chance. Next up is Venonat. This thing ain't fucking doing anything. It's a little puffball. I, I kick that, sh that guy to the fucking moon. I wonder if there's like a way I can just do generation one and then move on to generation two. Like on a different list. Cause this is gonna this list is gonna get fucking huge. Make sure you wash your hands and entire body after killing them. I like I could die like down the line. It's just whether or not I kill them in the moment. Bit of moth. Same sort of deal. It's just a moth. It's like butterfree. It's poisonous, yes. But like a poison takes a while to take effect. And I probably kill it before that happens at least it like showers me with poisonous scales like from above but if there's any wind at all they're gone they're like just gone in the wind <laughs> and then and then it loses diglett i stand on its fucking head that's that's not that's not it's like a whack-a-mole game the only thing you can do is pop up and try to scare me i i just crush that little shit <laughs> underfoot or i pull it out of the ground and finally see what it is Uh, Doug Trio, same sort of deal, I feel. Yes, it can cause earthquakes, but, like, unless the earthquake is gonna, like, actually create a fissure, which, in my mind, one hit KO moves are not allowed. That's just not a thing that's gonna happen. The earthquake's not gonna do anything. It's gonna shake me around a bit, but I don't think Doug Trio can actually do anything to me because it doesn't have arms. It's just heads. It could headbutt me. Maybe with some force, but it is digging underground. It can't get that much force. Meowth. I win that. Its arms and legs are so thin. The steel Meowth, though. This might be a different story. Because it's got, like, such a rough exterior. I might be losing my fingers as I'm trying to grab it. And then it bites them off with that giant mouth? I feel like this would be a really, really rough one. I think I could still, you know, kick it in the face and win. But if I was trying to grapple it, 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 it would I would absolutely be losing fingers. There's a lot of Meowths nowadays. There's, there's three. <laughs> I wish there was more Meowths. I actually do like the Meowth regional variants. I don't like Perserker, but I like all the others. Uh, I, I honestly think this might be a fair fight. <laughs> the second fair fight, everybody, and it's fucking steel type Meowth. I can see four right there. I mean, there is Galarian Mega Meowth, but that, that's a form. I, I don't I don't really count that. Okay, regular Meowth, I kill that bitch. Persian. That's like trying to fight like a cougar, right? I don't think it really matters that one of them has a chubbier face than the other one. I think it's... How big? How big is it? It looks muscly, is the problem, I think. It looks lean, but it also looks muscly. Uh, Persian size. Pokemon. <laughs> it weighs 35 kg-ish. Height 3 foot. Okay, it's not that big. But it probably has a very strong bite force. It does, it probably has very sharp claws and very sharp teeth and could probably try to like eat. How big is a Jaguar? This is the question. Jaguar size. Hundred twenty kg. Well, all already Jaguars are very heavy, heavier than fucking. It stands fifty-seven to eighty-one centimeters. Okay, yeah, I think I lose. I don't think I win. I don't think I win against these guys. I think they they bite my fucking brain out. But I don't think they're quite as strong as a Jaguar. But I think they still win. I think once they pounce on me and knock me to the ground, there's no way I get them off me. They'd, they'd be too strong. I wouldn't be able to, you know, push their head back enough. They'd just bite my neck and I'd die. 
I, I think that's I think it's fair. I, I think that's I don't think anybody can really disagree with that unless you're like some sort of guy who's like, yeah, I could take a gorilla in a fight. Yeah, I could take a lion. A oh, horse? No, no problem, man. Just, you know, get on its back and like, you know, strangle it. Easy as, man. There are people like that who that exist, and I'm like, are you crazy? Psyduck is dying. He's probably too. Golduck is also dying. I don't think there's any way Golduck wins against me. Yeah, he can shoot water at me. He can probably try to claw at me, but like, it's a fucking Golduck, dude. I. There's no way. Golduck deserves an evolution. You know, actually, most of the Gen 1 Pokemon, I reckon, deserve uh, a, a, a sort of redesigns. Not something that changes, like, their entire gimmick or whatever. Like, some Pokemon are fine, like Sandslash, for example, but some look a little old compared to newer Pokemon. And I feel like they could, like, do with a bit of sprucing up. Not the way, like, you're thinking. I'm thinking, like, Pikachu was modernized over the age, right? Modernize the other Pokemon, too. That's what I'm thinking. They have for a few of them. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking some of the other ones you could, you could absolutely modernize as well. Just make them look a little less boring. I think your lag is due to the Twitch servers. We're in pretty extreme weather here right now. I'm about 20 kilometers from San Francisco where the Twitch servers are located. Could be. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing internet a lot. I just keep disconnecting. Usually the internet's not this bad. Thankfully, I am recording this, so it's fine. Mankey. Um... Where the hell would I even... What would I even fight? I have to try break its arms and legs, but apparently it's very strong. It is a fighting type, and it is strong. And you don't want to mess with apes. Let's be honest. I'm also sorry about the, the internet problems, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. It might be the Twitch servers, because usually my internet's not this bad. Usually pretty bad, but not this bad. So I'm sorry if... Uh, Sorry if I keep disconnecting. Uh, yeah, I don't think I win against Mankey. Just just for the plain old sake, it's like a monkey. I, I think I may could have a chance, because it's not that big. But it's probably a loss. Primeape, on the other hand, I, I die. He rips my arms off. The moment he looks at me, I die. I just think, well, that's like a chimpanzee, and you do, you do not win against a chimpanzee. Growlith, beat that motherfucker into the dirt. That that bitch dies. Tiny little yap yap dog. Same with the other one. Uh, Arcanine, it fucking kills me straight up. <laughs> that that guy that guy just runs at me and bowls me over. It bites my head off. I'm dead. Those two are the exact opposite. Tiny little yappy dog, kill a lion essentially. Brush it up a little to match modern Pokemon pizzazz. Yeah, that's that's what I'm mainly talking about. Yeah. Okay. We got Poliwag next. That that guy's dead. There's there's no chance. I kick it. Its internal organ is <laughs> its internal organs explode. That's what's happening there. Poliwhirl can punch, but they look like boxing gloves. I'm gonna assume they're kind of soft too. Not, not soft, but like, you know, boxing gloves. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, it can shoot... Well, it's got like a mouth up there, I know. But I think I still win. I don't think Polly Whirl has much of a chance. What do you guys think? It's a weird one, because it's like... It's like a little humanoid round guy. But it's got really big eyes. I think if I can manage to get a, 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 a hand inside its eye socket, it's dead. It'd be really gross, but I think I'd win. I, I think I win against Poliwhirl. Poliwrath, on the other hand, as a fighting type, probably real strong. Probably a real strong guy. How big is he? Because I think it's probably the same deal with Poly Poliwhirl, same way to win. St stabbing through its eyes with my hand. I 
because they're so big. Like, they're just such a giant target. But it can also punch, like, real hard. It could knock the wind out of me. It's probably the right height as well. Probably crush something, and then... I think I probably lose this one. I don't know if it's, like, as, like, a, like a giant loss as Primeape, because apes are fucking crazy, and they will kill you in, like, 0.5 seconds. Holy World, on the other hand, is, like, a, it's like a frog, man. I don't know how structurally, like, sound he is. Abra, oh, I, he, all he can do is teleport. I win that one. Kadabra? Now, this whole thing is psychic powers. He could... Uh, is it, do you think he'd be strong enough to, like, lift me up and throw me into a wall? And is that, like, draining for him? Does he feel tired after that? I'd imagine you'd have to. There'd have to be some way of, like, making him... Otherwise, he'd be just as powerful as Alakazam, right? Unless Alakazam can, like, lift up the world. Or something. I'm glad I decided to do this in, like, a game stream, because it, the, 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 the Twitch servers are dying so bad. He ragged old Ash left and right. Is this going to happen for every Psychic type, though? But I guess Kadabra and Alakazam are, like, the ones that have the, you know, Psychokinesis. I I'm going to say I don't win against either of these two, because they just... They just throw me into walls and I crack my head open. Marshop. It's like it's like a. I'm gonna imagine Marshop to be like a little kid who's been working out like nonstop since he was born. I don't think I could strangle him because he would he would he would be able to grab my arms and like break them. Hmm, how would I win again? Again, the eyes. You kind of got to go for the eyes. Or like, stomp on his chest a bunch. Because he doesn't look like he's been working out really here. At least not like, you know. I think I still win. But I think there is a chance he breaks my arms and I die. Machoke, on the other hand, absolutely crushes me. Same with Machamp. I should have really added, like, a tier, tier above this where, like, just for Gigantamaxes and things, because, like, there's, there's no way I win those. Maybe apart from El Creamy, if I manage to eat it. Big head, shake it. <laughs> shake him until he dies. <laughs> shake the baby. Oh, Bellsprout. It is dead. He, he's literally a plant. I rip his head from it. Like, look at that tiny thing. I rip his head from a stalk. Again, anything made from, like, plant matter is... I mean, unless it's like bark or something. But if you're a flower, you are not made like with structural integrity in mind. Then again, these kind of flowers are made a little stronger. Weeping Bell, he would try to suck on me. But like, what's stopping me from starting to bite and rip open his insides when he does put his, you know, if, if, he, if he puts his, you know, his, his suction over my head. I, I just start clawing away at his insides or his outsides with his eyes. Because if it's over my head, he can't exactly get to my hands. Because he's not that big. I definitely kill this guy. They breathe poison? Hold your breath. <laughs> Claw out its eyes. I, I, don't, I don't think it's... It, it's as, like, cut and clear as, like anything else. I think it's more than like 99% like chance I kill these guys. Victory Bell, on the other hand, he doesn't... I can't see him moving. He he can't move. He would have to bounce. Which would be really bad. He's got two teeth. I'm assuming he's got very strong... Oh, wait. Would Weeping Bell have really strong acid? But how the hell would he get on my head? There's no way. He'd have to fly. And he can't fly. Victory Bell. How would he even grab me? I'm assuming he'd be able to, like, lunge. Try to grab me, put him, put me in his, like, acidy stomach. How strong would, be, would I be able to pierce through his skin when inside? Is it like... It kind of looks like banana skin. Is it like that sort of toughness? I'd have to trip into his big old mouth. <laughs> 
But like, if if I can like, I, I don't think he's he's a fucking plant. He's just a really big flower with acid inside. I think he can't grab me. He can't strangle me with his with his acid. Uh, strangle me with his with his leaves because they're leaves. I rip off the leaves. I, I eat them. Yeah, I'm I'm losing so many frames. I don't know whether this is Twitch or my internet. Is Twitch... I'm going to look up if Twitch is down. If Twitch is down, I might just stop. Mm, I'm not really seeing... Yeah, I ain't seeing much. Might not be Twitch. Did you see my comment earlier about Twitch servers in San Francisco? Yeah. That's why I'm looking it up. But I think it might just be my internet. I don't think weather would really affect it. I think it's my internet. Uh, I might swap, swap my ethernet cable after, um, after the stream. All right, victory bell. I don't think he wins. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think I, I think I get him. I think maybe some ash acid splashes on me, but it's a plant. It's plant acid, and plant acid is not that strong. It's okay for like, it's like if stomach acid, you know, got on you. It's not not gonna be that big of a deal. Hit cool. Okay, am I in the ocean or am I on land? That is the, or am I like on a bit of land and tentacles in the ocean? That's the question. Bazinga. Bazinga? Do you reckon you could take Reggie Steel in a fight? I think you got this. Uh, yeah, I think so. Reggie Steel is pretty, he's a pussy. He'd run away from me. Easy as, no problem. I think it'd have to be in the ocean. Shallow water. Like, am I wading or am I swimming? I think either way, if he's just like a kind of... Oh, music's over. Let's listen to uh, chill and relaxing Pokemon music mix. Man, I can fight a lot of Pokemon so far. Gives me washed up jellyfish vibes. I think waiting is a fair setting. All right, yeah. I think I could like, if I can grab a hold of him, cause like it's a jellyfish. I don't think he's super fast. I think if I can grab him, I can like, you know, squish him apart like a jellyfish would. He'd sting me a bunch, but like, I don't think the stingers would be able to kill me. I, I think I'd win this one pretty handedly. Tentacruel on the other hand is like a Kraken. How big is he? He's pretty big, right? Tentacruel size. Five foot. Weight, like 60 kg. Hmm. That is a question. It, it's got a lot of stingers. Stingers would be strong. It's more protected than Tentacruel. And it does have those giant jelly-like things on top of his head. I don't know if those are like... I'm assuming Tentacool is like... Because he's only got two. I, I can like... You know, mash my... I'm assuming these are made of jelly. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm assuming these things are made of jelly and not like a glass-like material. So jellyfish is lethal venoms though. That's what I'm thinking. But does Tentacruel have lethal venom? I'm trying to think about this realistically. Would a five-foot jellyfish have lethal venom for a human? Tentacruel would be like getting stung by a man or war jellyfish at best. I don't think you're winning that. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm winning against Tentacruel, especially since he can control his his like stingers. I immediately get like toxic shock and I die. Because he just grabs me with all of them afterwards. 
He just he just has to touch me when I go, ah, owie! And then he grabs me with the others and then like crushes my head between his giant forceps here. Geodude, he's a fucking rock. What the f hell do I do against Geodude? I don't think, I don't think I'm winning this one because he's a literal like boulder. He's like a big stone and I don't, I mean, I could throw him at the wall over and over again until he cracks, but like, I think I'd become exhausted before that had happened. Like, I just chip little bits off of him. Maybe I'd knock him out, though, because he is, like, fleshy inside, I would imagine. Because he's got a tongue. When he opens his mouth, he's got, like, a tongue, right? So I think I could grab him by his arm and fling him into the wall enough times to the point where he gets a concussion and dies. Because I'm assuming he's got a brain, right? He's got to have a brain. Four times weakness? <laughs> yeah, if you think about this, I could just karate chop him and he'd die. <laughs> Give him a nice low kick. Jump kick at him. Spit on him, weak to water. Yeah, and I'm made out of like 85% water. That's how it goes. I think I win against Geodude. Graveler, on the other hand, I can't even begin to pick him up. I die. And same with Golem. They, they absolutely decimate me. There's no way I win that one. And that's fairly obvious. That's straightforward. Like, I can pick up and throw Geodude into a wall. I cannot do that with Graveler or, or Golem. And Golem's got, like, the bite force behind him as well. Graveler probably just had to land on me and I'd die. Same with Golem. I imagine Golem would be pretty slow, though. Although he can curl up and roll into a ball. Yeah, I'd die. Yeah, there's no way. My Little Pony Tar. Hmm. Well, this thing's got fairy power. What the fuck is a fairy power gonna do with IRL? I I think I win. I think I think I destroy this little bitch. Uh, regular Pony Tar, on the other hand. It would have to be with kicks because it's it's got literal flames all over its body. I don't think it could kill me per se, unless it was like again, it can shoot like embers. I'm imagining. I can't imagine it would be able to like do flamethrower yet, because it's a little a little guy. Horses got really strong kicks. Yeah, but like we're talking about like tiny little like two foot tall pony tar here. It's not gonna kill me. I think I'd get burnt up real bad, but I think I would still win. I think I'd just have to kick it in the head enough times. Or under the chin. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a fair fight, actually. Uh, how big is Ponyta? Hang on, this might change my mind. If it's the same size, like two foot tall. Okay, three foot tall. Yeah. And it's got fire on it. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a fair fight. I think it just depends on how it uses its fire. I don't think it's strong enough to, to like, kill me. I think it's best bet is the fire. But again, I have to be worried about the fire, so I'd have to, I'd have to kick it a bunch. Because there's no way I'm grappling that thing. Rapid Ash would uh, kill it. It was like a horse. With a giant spear on its fucking head. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, so, uh, hang on. Let me move these guys up. There's no way I'm killing Rapidash. Just a horse with fire on it. There's no way I'm killing a regular horse. And then a horse with... I mean, unless it trips on its own hair. In which case, it might break its own neck. But that's not me winning. It'd probably stab me with its giant horn. Either way, and I would die. Slowpoke. He's dead. Slowpoke. He's dead. Uh... Slow bro that can shoot poison from its arm. Aren't slow bros like really big? Aren't they like like a meter, like height five foot? Yeah, that's really big, and he's pretty bulky, and he could stab me with that thing anyway. Just, like, fling it around like a mace. He'd be slow. 
But I can't imagine, like, you shoot poison at me. Would it be like acid? What does shooting poison at someone actually do? They're big, but they're also very dumb. Yeah. You could get them before they reach to you as a threat. I mean, yeah, they don't feel pain until, like... Like a minute later, right? Wasn't that, like, a thing? I don't know. I don't know about slow, bro. It's based on the giant salamander, right? So they're not exactly super... You know... I, I, I could probably try to kick its head. Punch it in the face a bit. I, I wouldn't be able to lift it up. Too bulky for that. Slowbro dies, but Slow King would probably be a problem due to its intelligence. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of winning against Slow King, but we're not up to that just yet. Uh. Hmm. This is a rough one. I, I genuinely don't. I can't see it clawing me. It could hit me with its mace hand, but it'd be too slow to actually land a hit. I think I think chances are I could win. I think I could probably win against that. I mean, he could shoot poison, but would he be, like, fast enough, A, to hit me? And then once I, like, if I can get around behind him, which wouldn't be too hard, I'd imagine. It is slow, bro, after all. I could probably try to strangle him, and I don't think he could hit me with the mace or the poison. I don't know if his arms are that flexible. So I think I could win. Maybe. I'd probably die afterwards, though, from the poison. It shoots extremely fast. It shoots you with poison and you're dead. You know, if you get shot with poison in real life, it doesn't do anything, right? You have to ingest poison. Even if it's a venom, it still has to get into your bloodstream. The poison, shooting poison at me is like shooting water at me. Unless I accidentally get, like, a shitload of it in my mouth, nothing's happening. I think I win that one. Uh, Mega Slow Bro. He can spin on his tail, right? I would have to get inside there. Not like that can close. I would have to grab the shell and start... And, like, tip it over on its side. And then start stomping. Like, at the entrance. Just go bam, 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 bam. This is the first Mega where, like, maybe I could win this one. I mean, if it gets you all cut up and stuff first and then shoots you with poison? Well, that's the thing. Like, if I'm getting close to it, I'm getting up behind it. Not, not going to get cut up with, like, whatever it has. Plus, if it is poison and not venom, it wouldn't do anything anyway. Poison is ingested. Venom is inserted via bloodstream. I, I think, depending on, like, like, honestly, he's on his tail. Like, at least his tail is, like, it can't be stronger than, like, a... So, like, there's no tails in real life that do that. At least, say, he can balance on it and spin. I think eventually he would get dizzy and he can't see where he's going because he's so spinning. I think I could technically win this, only because he would get too dizzy and I'd then start stomping his face in. I, I, I think... But if I get hit by the shell, I I might get, like, kneecapped by the... Or ankle-capped? I don't know, shin-capped? By the spikes on the side of it? But even then, I could just touch the top of it and push it away. Or try to, at least. I think chances are I could win that one. Six-foot Beyblade. Is it six-foot? Mega slow bro size. I think it's the same size, just in a shell. Yeah, it is. It's a five foot. Then again, it's on its tail, so... It wouldn't be able to see me when it's spinning. There's just no way. It wouldn't be able to target where it's going. It would just spin on the spot. Then I wait until it gets dizzy, and then I, you know... Go in for the kill. I think, don't get me wrong, I think it'd be extremely tough. 
But I don't think he's got much in the way of, of, of being able to kill me. Six foot seven? Oh yeah, he's, he's standing on his tail. But he's still the same size inside. I, I, like... I think I'd get fucked up. But I think I would still win. Like, just his arms can't really do anything because they're stuck on the outside. I think I just have to push it over so it's standing on its two on two of the spikes. You know, like a tripod. And then just start stomping. Just, you know, just bam. <laughs> Fill the shell with sand, you know? From the gladiator pit. Start shoveling it in. And then drown him in sand. Bury him alive in his own shell. Alright, regular slow bro. Uh... Same sort of thing with slow bro, uh, the other slow bro. I could try pull the shell off its tail. And then revert it back to a slow uh, poke and then kill it. Then I got a shelter to worry about, but I don't think that'd be too, too hard. And again, if I pull the, if I manage to pull the, the, the thing off, then, um, it's probably really on there though, I would imagine. But then again, it, it actually shows that it's still biting into the tail. It's not actually piercing anything because there's no blood. There's no, it's not like bit into it. It's just like kind of holding on. Maybe even lightly. Or just enough to the point where, like, it hurts, but, like, it's not piercing anything. I think I could pull it off, and then technically I win because I'm not fighting Slowbro anymore. Main thing is, how much are we considering its psychic abilities? I mean, it's a salamander, guys. I don't think it's got... It, I don't think it has Kadabra, like, power. Or Alakazam power. I think I win. I think I think chances are I would win. But that's mainly just for my gimmick fight. Remember, I'm trying to make these like more like animals rather than you know actual like Pokemon with super powerful abilities. <laughs> you know, the problem is that it basically doesn't feel pain, so it's just gonna ignore you beating its ass. Yeah, but what would it do to fight me back? It's got, like, two teeth. It's got some claws, I guess, but, like, they're very small. I don't know. I think I win that one. Magnemite. I don't think there's a way I win that shit. Is Magnemite, like... If I cut open Magnemite, not that I could. Would he have, like, a brain in there? Could I hurl him at the wall like I did Geodude? Would that work? I feel like it would just fly above me infinitely. And just zap me with lightning until I gave up. I think there's no way I win against Magnemite, to be honest. Or Magneton, for that instance. Magnemite is really small? Is it? Could I pull, like, its magnets away from it and kill it? Magnemite's size. One foot. Now that's about as big as I thought it was. It could also fly into me and, like, hit me in the head and I'd die. Yeah, there's no way I win against that guy. 0 0.3 meters? No, it's one foot. It's only 6 kg. Still, 6 kg hitting you in the head is pretty big. There's no way it's only... Oh, it is 0 0.3 meters. Yeah, it's one foot. Wait, I got confused. I forget what I said. It's one foot from magnet to magnet? No, it's one foot tall. Is it not? Either way, it can hover indefinitely because of magnetism to the earth. So I wouldn't be able to get it anyway. There's no way I, I could like try to throw rocks at it, I guess, but I don't think it'd do much. I think I lose just by, you know, I just starve and die in the arena. It could just fly like 100 feet in the air. And then I die of starvation. This, would it be smart enough to do that? Could zip zap around, zap me with electricity, I suppose. I still don't think I win. 
If I could grab him, then what do I do? I throw him into a wall? I try to pull its magnets off? I, I just, and then it would just pop them back on? I, is its eye, like, is it fleshy? Can I grab its eyeball and pull it out? I'm just going by the idea that, like, it's all steel. It's got a robot brain, so it'd probably be smart enough to just float out of reach. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that where it is. And that I literally become dust in the arena over time. Far-fetched. Giant leak. It's just a duck with a giant leak, man. Sure, it's strong, but, like... Hmm. I know regular Farfetch I kick the shit out of. It's a duck with a duck with a small leak. Yahoo! Hey, thanks, Massive Jeff. Massive work on the FNAF vid, Mr. Sod. I am a proud user of Code Radical. Thanks very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm losing connection again. What What's the deal with this? I wish I could, like, check if it's my internet or, or Twitch. I, I don't know, like, what how to check that. Is there, like, a way I can check? Oh, wait, like, maybe on Task Manager or something? Yeah. Maybe, like, I can check, like, details or something, or services. App history, performance, Ethernet. Here we go. I can see if it dips off and turns to nothing. We'll just, we'll just check via there. It'd be a duck with a giant leak that knows how to use it. Yeah. I don't know about Farfetch'd. I mean, if I get to it, I can grab it and kill it, no doubt. If it's agile enough to stay away from me and hit me with the leak over and over. I mean, again, it is a giant leak, so, like, it would disintegrate eventually. But it looks fairly large. So, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't for a while. It might be able to knock me out with one good clean hit to the head. Oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know, my, my ethernet thing's looking really weird now. Looks like it's like not connected at all. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Eat the leak and then he has powers. I think like if he knows how to use it like really well and he can like whack me with it. Then I might, then I could maybe grab it and like hurl him into the ground because like if, it, if 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 he's he's a duck right with a wing he's holding it with a wing so it can't be that heavy to the point where i can't lift it also i i think the chances are that i would win against him doduo man i'm getting random huge spikes on my internet like my internet is looking so fucking weird Whatever, you know what? I'll just swap my cable over when the stream ends. See if that does anything. You think you can win against an emu? Absolutely yes. If you look at Dodo's, the way it's set up, its necks are very, very thin compared to a regular, like, uh, fucking emu or ostrich. And its legs are too. Then again, ostrich legs don't look... I mean, they are thick. Don't get me wrong. But they don't look, they don't look particularly thick. They're not like tree trunks, you know? But two heads. One of them could stab me with its giant beak while I'm trying to get the other one. I don't think it would be able to like, be able to have me on its back if I could get on, but it is very fast. It is extremely fast. It could run at me real fast, stab me twice in the chest with its two beaks before I could do anything. So I think I definitely lose this one, to be honest. I don't think there's much... It's just too fast. If it's coming at me with intent to kill, I think I die from being stabbed. Because its beaks are very sharp. And they're pretty thin, too. I think it goes straight through my guts. I don't think I went against either of those. Seal. Okay, we're going to assume I'm in, like, wading in water, like it's up to my waist. Which gives them about, you know, like... Almost a meter in terms of water to swim around in. Seals have... Uh, 
I'm trying to think here, but like he, he his only form of fighting would be to bite me, right? So could I technically, when he bites me, because he's going to bite my leg, obviously, would I be able to reach down and like strangle him or something? Hold him under the water until he like dies? Can he breathe underwater? That is the question. Do you guys think Seal can breathe underwater? I don't think he can. I think he's based on a real seal. He can't breathe underwater. I suppose he could. Um, I mean, it depends how strong he is as well. Like, if he's the size of a regular seal, do you think a regular seal, like, even if I was holding onto him, would be able to, like, swim up to the surface anyway? Even if I was trying to hold him under? Like, a strong... Like, he's got a lot of muscle there. I don't think about this. Would he be able to hold me under the water is, is the question. I think this one is like... I, I, honestly, I think he probably kills me. I think I have a chance. Depending on like the, the, the ideas behind it. But like, I, I think... Probably a loss there. Like 95% chance I probably lose. Same goes with Dugong, I guess, because he's just like... Although he is bigger and stronger, so I'm just going to put him like... He definitely kills me. He, he grabs me, he drags me into water, holds me there. And I die. Grimer. How the shit would I kill Grimer? I don't think I could. I think my hand would go into his brain and it'd just be nothing. It'd just be more grime. I could try to pull him apart, I guess, like throw his grime all around the arena. This one has, I think this one particularly though, has toxic like uh, spikes in it, like hardened toxic crystals. Or is that just Alolan? Well, I know Muck, Alolan Muck, he kills me. There's no way I can kill him. Um, I think same goes with the fully evolved Muck too. He just envelops me in his venom. I think I could kill regular Grimer. By grabbing, you know, oodles of his sludge, throwing it away from him until he becomes, like, too small. Or if his eyes are actually eyes, I could grab his eyes, pull them out of his head. You know what I mean? Does he have a skeleton? I don't know. I don't think so. So I, I think I definitely win against Grimer. Because it, it, he also can't, like, force me to ingest any poison. Unless he spits it in my mouth, but I'll just keep my mouth closed when I'm fighting him. This Grimer, on the other hand, if he has those toxic crystals in him, I think when I'm trying to fight him with my bare hands, I would hit something. And because he is so potent, he's literally made of venom, I think I would feel the effects, like, nearly immediately. And I would have to keep, like, trying to hit him so just more and more toxic poisons would be pumping into my body. I, I think most likely I die. I'm, I'm going to put him in probably a loss. But it depends whether or not he has those toxic... You know, spikes coming out of him. That's why I put him in probably a loss and not 100%. Both Alolan forms have the toxic crystals? Yeah, but I think his is just the... Oh, but if he bites me... If my hands get, like, stuck in the slit... Yeah, okay. You know what? I'll, I'll, I become dust. Shelter. Oh, I fucking grab that shell. Like, that shell cannot close. The way it's shaped, it can't close. I grab it and I pull it apart. This thing's dead. Cloister, on the other hand, can shoot harpoons out of its head. Uh... In the water, I'm dead. Like, they're, they're, he shoots me with a harpoon straight in the heart. I die. There's no way I win that. And if his, like, body in there is, like, a pearl, I'm also dead. Because that's too hard for me to, like, feasibly hit. Ghastly. Would I even be able to hit Ghastly? Would my punches just go right through him? Or would he be like a floating basketball and I can like dribble him along the fucking ground until I get to the wall and then smash his face into it and he explodes into a pile of purple goo? What do you guys think?
I'm I'm currently waiting for any responses in the chat. <laughs> I just want to see what the general consensus is and whether or not I can actually. Its body is gas, so you can't hit him. But you can probably fan him away. With my hands? I could probably take on my shirt and try to fan him away. Assuming I have a shirt. However, if he really wants, he could probably just get inside my face. Because he's a ghost and he's got poison gas around him. And probably just, I have to breathe eventually, right? I think I lose against him. Same goes for Haunter. Because they're just ghosts. Because they're like the most like straight up ghost thing, I don't think I'd be able to hit him. Just go right through him. Do I even need to like talk about Onyx? Onyx destroys me. Onyx fucking... Onyx just... He's gigantic. Like, he's got the attack power of a Pidgey in the games, but, like, in real life, he would... He, he would just... You know, he's made of boulders. There's, there's no way I win that. Drowsy, on the other hand, uh, is not winning any fighting contests with me. I think their main deal is they try to put you to sleep. Charge straight at him. I mean, wouldn't you have to focus in order to be put to sleep? Like, focus on the thing he's doing? Could I not just charge at him, looking, like, slightly somewhere else? And then tackle him to the ground and proceed to rip off his nose and ears? I think I could win against Hypno. I think most likely I win. Unless it's got, like, some sort of super weird power with his, like, thing, like, you have to look at it. But I don't think that's the case. Not in real life. You know what? If this is real life... I'd fucking kick the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> Did they literally rip Ash's soul from his body one time? Yeah, that's the anime, though. They do stupid shit all the time. Hypno can rip Ash's soul from his body, but Ash can also survive being hit by thunder. Like, you know? And incinerated by Charizard, which would never happen in real life. You'd, you'd die. Your face would melt off. Just getting a drink. Just take Hypno's little coin from him. Hey, can I see that for a second? <laughs> Throw it out of the arena. Okay. Uh, Krabby. Those are some big pincers, for sure. Take a sip. Is he in the water, or is he... I think he's got legs enough. Like, there are a lot of crabs that spend a lot of time out of, out of the water. I think we can fight this guy on land. Because I don't think he has a super advantage in the water. He doesn't have those little, like, fins that regular crabs do that they used to swim around with. So let's say this is on land. First of all, I don't win against Mega Kingler. That's just not happening. So Krabby has big old pincers. They could probably take off a couple of fingers. But could they kill me? I don't think so. I think I win. I don't think there's even a chance this guy kills me. Kingler, uh, on the other hand, has a really big claw. And it's probably pretty fast too, I would imagine. And again, he's a crab, and crabs generally don't have the fastest pincers, but... Kingler is just a bigger crabby with a bigger... And so I, I think I still win. Like, I can pull his legs off of him. Like, if he goes for the pincer and misses, or even, like... Hits my leg, for example. I could just reach down, even if he breaks my leg, you know. 
I could, if, if I managed to, I could reach down and pull his arm apart, I guess. Unless then he grabbed my arm with his other pincer and broke that one too. And proceeded to break all the bones in my body. Maybe this one's a fair fight. Maybe Kingler is a fair fight. 1.4 meters and weighs 60 kg. Yeah, I think if I can hit his legs and stuff. But it's just whether or not he, he like, breaks all my bones with his claws. Voltorb. I don't know enough about this kind of Voltorb. It's a bit of wood. What is Voltorb made of? Is it just a pure fist fight or can you bring something into the fight? No, it's just pure fists. Not allowed to bring anything. No weapons allowed. Maybe it would be funny if like the Pokemon has a weapon. I'm also allowed that weapon. Like if Hypno has his coin, I'm also allowed a coin. <laughs> A leak, I'm also allowed a giant leak, you know? Spoons, I'm allowed some spoons. Not that it would help much, to be honest. None of these weapons are, like, particularly strong. He shoots seeds? Where? From his eyes? From the hole in his head? He doesn't have a mouth. He's like a, he's just a ball. What could he, what, what, what could he actually do? Like spores from the top of his head, maybe? Like a tss. Okay, so he shoots stuff from the top of his head. Did he just shoot seeds? I don't think shooting seeds at me would kill me, per se. Oh, yeah, they could self-destruct. But... I don't think the Voltorb self-destructions have ever been, like, intensely powerful. The anime characters always just end up with, like, ash on their face. And that's kind of it. I would say Voltorb would self-destruct, but I would live. Meaning... I would technically win, but I'd get hurt while doing so. And Electrode, on the other hand, would probably explode and I'd die. So I'm gonna put him in... You know, well, we'd both die, but he would technically win because I would be dead. Or we could say fair fight, I guess. But I think Electrode has the advantage anyway. <laughs> Nobody's gonna fucking die in the anime. Say that to that one girl's dad and that Pokemon... Oh wait, no, the dad comes back, that's right. And the creator of the movie was like, I didn't want that to happen, why did they put that in? Yeah, I think Electrode wins. Plus, then Electrode only faints. He doesn't actually die. Wait! That kind of also happens with Voltorb, too. I'm gonna say probably a loss there. Move those ones up. But if it faints, if it faints and I don't, then I can kill it, surely. Just throw it at a wall like six billion times. Eggs. It's eggs. <laughs> this thing, however, I'm probably not. It's made of fucking wood. I'm not killing that with my bare hands. Uh, same with Executor. Coconuts on its head and fucking wood running around at me. It would eventually kill me. I wouldn't be able to do any damage to it. I, I, I guess I could try and pull the heads off, but like... Doesn't it just grow more? Maybe I could pull the heads off. And then they become Execute, and then I can... And then what happens to the body is the question. So they become Execute. That actually, it actually could work then. Depends like how fast he is, whether or not he could trample me. He's cute as technically coconuts, but you can crack them against the wall, so they did. If you actually look at Execute, the uh, shell is really thin. So I, I wouldn't call them coconuts. These are technically- these are more coconuts, but they turn into eggs. It's really- I don't know why they did it that way. That's what I mean by, like, upgrading the, like, you could turn these guys into actual little coconut boys. Uh, I- If I can get the- the, the heads off, if I can pull the heads off without much prob problem, 
I could win, but it's probably a loss. He can probably just run into me, hit me with his giant tree bark over and over again, and stomp on me until I die. The, the Cubone's dead. I killed Cubone. It's got a fucking bone. I just stand on it. Fiery Marowak. <laughs> Hits me with a bone. Same with Marowak. And these guys are not that big. How big are they? Let me look this up. Uh, Marowak. One meter. That's taller than I thought they were. Jesus, they're the... What the fuck? That thing's huge. And it's with a bone? And that's a pretty sturdy bone, too. That could do some real damage. That could break an arm. If he brings a bone, you bring your own bone. <laughs> Promise, he's got a lot of, like, his head is so tough, I wouldn't be able to do anything to it apart from, like, try and attack his eyes. But it's a much smaller target than before with, like, other Pokemon. I think there's a chance I could win, but it's not high. I, I, I don't know if this is, like, a fair fight. If I could grab his bone, I feel like uh, maybe I could win. I think it might be a fair, fair fight, maybe. The one with fire on it is a little harder to fight. I'd probably lose that one. So there's like ghostly fire. I'd probably like be cursed for a billion years or something if I touch that fire. Hitmonlee? Oh, he'd fucking destroy me. He would kick me into the dust. Same with Hitmonchan. I'm essentially fighting like a short uh, karate guy and MMA fighter like or boxer. I am winning that. No matter, like, how big I am, they just too fast. Lick a tongue. What would I even attack? Would I grab his tongue? That seems like a dumb idea. <laughs> his arms ain't doing anything. He's not very fast. I think he's also based on a giant salamander. Or maybe not, I don't know. Is he based on something specific? Just a lizard with a tongue, I guess. Because lizards have long tongues, like chameleons. Frogs, maybe. Give him a literal tongue twister. <laughs> he has a seven foot tongue. He could probably strangle me with that tongue, to be honest. I think I'd probably lose this one. How big is he? He's like a meter tall? His tongue size. Yeah, he's, he's, he's almost four Yahoo! feet tall. I think I'd probably lose that one, to be honest. Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Ziff. It says here, it's three foot, 11 inches. Doesn't that mean almost four foot? Oh yeah, 1.2 meters. Yeah, I'm silly. Forget what I said. I get so confused with foot to meter conversions. Coughing, he could just fly above me and shoot smog down and I would have to breathe it in and I'd die. That's an immediate loss right there. Same with all the others. Doesn't matter how potent the poison is, he's flying. I can't get to him. Eventually I would succumb to like the flu. Rhyhorn, oh I'm dead. He's made of rock. There's, there's nothing I'm doing that beats this guy. He charges into me, breaks my ankles, and then proceeds to stomp me into the dirt. Right on, same sort of deal. Made a rock. Nothing I can do. Chansey, on the other hand, has like no attacking abilities whatsoever. It would take a long time. It'd be like fighting a punching bag, but I would win. And then I could eat his egg to like get more stamina. Just kite right on. Remember how slow they were in X and Y? You mean Rhyhorn? Yeah, but that's it. That's it, like, in the game. For some reason, they have Rhyhorn racing, and then in the same game where you get to ride one, they're super slow. That's so silly. They should have made it fast. They should have made it the Skiddo, like, version. Have it run around speedily. Tangela. Uh, I think I just rip its vines away. Right? It's It doesn't have arms. I mean, it could shoot its vines at me, I suppose. But I think I still win. 
I don't think it's that strong to be able to like lift me up and like pull me apart with his vines. I think I still win that. Oh, Kangas, can I die? Mother and child combo? Yeah, no thanks. Horsey, I kill that. What's it gonna? It's gonna shoot smoke at me under the water so I can't see it. But eventually, you know, I'd be able to grab it and kill it. Cedra has spines on it, but I think it's the same sort of deal. Assuming I can grab it, I'd, I'd probably win. Just depends whether or not I could grab it, you know? But let, let's say I can, and I do manage to grab it, it can't do anything to me. Goldeen could charge into me with that horn on its head, but it's essentially a goldfish with a horn on its head. I think... It could stab me, I guess, with it. But then what does it do? Right? Tangrowth would be a loss. Oh yeah, Tangrowth would be a loss. Goldeen. I think I win against Goldeen. Just because I would imagine it to be very stupid. It would charge into me with a horn and then stay there. It wouldn't like swim away out of it. So I could be able to grab it and hold it out above the water. Hold it by its really long fins. You know, put my fingers into it. Same with Seeking, I think. Goldeen is very small and very light. Well, that'll make things easier. Staryu! I, judging from what I've seen that Staryu does, you know how it like spins around? It'd probably chop my legs off, right? Or like break a bone as it spins underwater at me? I think I'd probably die to Staryu. Because I'd, I'd like break a bone and I, I... What the fuck would you hurt on this thing? What would you hit? Would you punch the gym? Would you would you punch the arms? Like I I I would die. There's no way I'd be able to beat that. Mr. Mime. It's a dancing guy with ice. I think I beat the shit out of it. Look at his thin arms. He can't punch for shit. I beat the crap out of him. Mr. Mime, uh with this one's gimmick. I don't know if this one also has that gimmick. Let's say he doesn't. But he can make invisible walls, right? Do you think his walls would be strong enough to the point where he could, like, put two of them together and crush me between them? Because I couldn't get to him with the invisible walls. But it, it, that takes up psychic power. He would have to stop that eventually. Could he beat me, though, is the question. I don't think he uses walls offensively. It's basically glass, so yeah. Alright, I'm just going to say I could beat him. But like, if if new data comes out, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it could be all right. Scythe, he would slash me the bits, right? Like I don't have a chance here. He flies at me real fast and then slashes my arms off. I can only assume that's what what's gonna happen. He doesn't look super strong, but I think like the cuts would kill me. Like I think I could pull off like a leg, but like that's the most I could ever do. And then he would just kill me anyway. Jinx, it's like a short woman. Who can kiss me to death literally draining kiss lovely kiss sweet kiss i wonder what draining kiss feels like like irl do you think it actually feels like something's being sucked out of you or do you, do you think you just start feeling tired or like hurting i think i could i didn't get her though i don't think she can kiss a foot flying at her face but she can, like, curl blizzards at me, so I think the chances are I would win, but, like, as soon as I get to her, she's, she's done. She could just use Ice Beam? Yeah. But, like, if she Ice Beams me, I put my hand up, catch the Ice Beam with my hand, right? My hand turns into an icicle, and I stab her in the chest. That's right. I win. <laughs> Electabuzz kills me, though. Look at those giant fucking fists. He absolutely clobbers me to the dirt. Same with Magma. Magma just shoots like a fire breath at me and I die. I, I don't even know what I would attack here. Because he's got literal fire coming from his head, which means his whole body is probably very hot. Mega Pinsir, there's no way I win that. Regular Pinsir. Uh... Yeah, I think if he runs at me head first... Depends, like, how he's angry. If he's looking downwards, like, running at me head first, I might be able to dodge to the side and grab his arm, pull it off. But he doesn't need his arms to be beat me. He just needs to get one good grip on me and I die. So I think most likely I'm dead here. 
99% of the chance. Chorus. I, oh, I'm dead. This, this. What's even the... It's a bull. It's a literal, just a smaller bull. There's no way I win that. His neck muscles would be gigantic. There's no way I'd even be able to strangle him. Magic up, I win. That one's pretty... He's hardy, but like, I, you know, I pull him out of the water. Hold him above my head, I win. He can't do anything. <laughs> Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, I lose against Gyarados. Only chance I have against doing any damage to Gyarados is as like diarrhea later on. Mega Lapras or G G G Animax Lapras. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. Lapras, I think I'm also dead. It's literally like a dinosaur in the water. Don't think there's much I can do against him. Ditto, I'm fighting myself. So that's a fair fight. It's probably the fairest fight in this whole thing. Unless he's like holding a choice scarf and he's just a faster version of me, but he can only do one move. Magikarp can learn bounce. Not this Magikarp. This is just a regular old Magikarp. He's not a special event Magikarp. Gigantamax Eevee. He's dead. Regular Eevee. I mean, I'm dead. I'm dead with Gigantamax Eevee. But regular Eevee, I, I punt his little face in. Eevee's another one which I think could do with a little tiny redesign. Just to bring him up to standards, you know? He, I, I hate the hair on his head. I think, honestly, you know, Cremus, which is literally just based on Gigantamax Eevee, Something slightly like that. Like Cremus with Eevee colors. <laughs> I'd be down. I'd be down for. Let's give it the Eevee tail back. Uh, Vaporeon. It can... I'm assuming we're in the water for this one. It can literally turn into the water. So eventually I would have to sleep and die. So. I lose against Vaporeon. Jolteon. It has thick barbs all over its fur, right? Like its fur is extremely tough and barb-like. I don't think I could grab him because I would just get pricked by thousands of sharp fur. And I think Flareon is also like extremely hot. So I can't even... I suppose I could kick it. But I don't think I would win. I, I think most likely I would lin uh, lose. If I could get kicks in against these two, maybe I'd win. Because like one good kick could probably knock it out. But this one, on the other hand, which would immediately turn into the water and I can't even touch it. No. Flareon is like as hot as the sun. No, you're thinking of Mag Cargo, I think, but also, uh, even if Flareon is as hot as the sun, if that's the case, it melts through the ground and then I win. Like. Or I just immediately burn up and then it melts into the ground and then it dies from suffocation because it's being put into the fucking core of the earth. Uh, that's so silly for them to make them that hot. We're thinking more realistically here. I'm imagining, like, like you put your hand into its fur. And it's like an oven in there. Like, it would burn you, absolutely. And if you hold it in there long enough, it would absolutely melt you down to your bones, but... I'm not imagining it to be as hot as the sun. Why are we getting this sad-ass fucking music? This isn't relaxing, this is sad. Let me skip forward a bit. There we go. That's better. Porygon would just show you that one Pokemon episode? I suppose it could induce a seizure. It is, a, it is a computer program. It's pretty smart. Try attack. Fire, thunder, and ice. Plus, it's like made of what exactly? Silicon? I don't know if I could win against this thing. It could also fly. Except it's Pikachu who did that. Oh, yeah. Right. Porygon took the fall. Styrofoam? Reinforced styrofoam? <laughs> twist it. If I twisted its head around, would that kill it? I don't think I would, right? Like, it just keeps spinning. Like, on a swivel. I think I lose against Porygon. Or I most likely lose, at least. Depends, like, what it's made. If it's made of glass and I throw it at a wall and it breaks, like, you know. But it also could fly, so, like, I think it'd just shoot me from above. I, th I think I'd just die on that one. Its body parts are very separate. Okay, yeah, so. I think I definitely lose against Porygon. Omanite! He's not doing anything to anyone. I reach inside, pull him out of his shell, and his brain comes with it. And I stand on his brain. He's dead. 
I'm sorry to Indigirl13 Underdash, who just followed, who had to listen to me talk about grabbing Omanite, pulling him out of his shell and standing on his brain, but that's what that's where we're at right now. Omastar, on the other hand, we're in the water, grabbing with his tentacles. Wait, where would he grab, though? Like, he would do a shitload. Yeah, I'd probably bleed out and die, to be honest. I'd probably die. I think it's a chance, like, I could pull his tentacles out, depending on how squishy he is on the inside. Like, I grab his eyes, like, because his eyes are showing when he's biting. So I could probably pull his eyes out and, like, try to get in to his brain. So, but I'd probably die. Just from blood loss. He's 35 kg? That's not even that heavy. Pokemon are too light. Like, uh, so many Pokemon are way too light. Kabuto, I went against that guy. Sure, he's a rock type, but, like, uh, you stand on him and he can't move. That's it. Oh, but he'd be in the water, I guess, right? He's not going to do it. He's going to cling on to me, and then I just grab him and bite his face. Kabuto, I die, though. Kabutops, I mean. Uh, he, he swims at me real fast and then slashes my ankles, and I bleed out while my Achilles tendon is, like, severed. Mega Aerodactyl, that's literally just a fucking dinosaur with rocks all over it. I die. Aerodactyl as well. There's one thing I've always hated about Aerodactyl's design. Its wings are fucking tiny. And its arms are so stick thin. But here's the question. If it comes down, lunges at me and manages to somehow miss. And I somehow get a hold of its hands or arms and break them. It can still run around and bite me. And it's got a really big jaw, like a crocodile's jaw. So I think I still lose. It's got a kind of a thin neck, I guess. I suppose I could stick my foot like in its jaw, like upwards. But then again, if I'm barefoot, there's there's no way I'm doing that. I think I I think I I think I lose this one too. Even if I do manage to like get an advantage on him by breaking his wings, he could still run at me and bite my face off. It could also just fly above you and toss rocks at you until you die. How would it toss rocks at me? What rocks? It'd have to come down and grab rocks. Snorlax. Gigantamax kills me. Even if he didn't attack me at all, I would die. Well, for like old age. I'd just eat the fruit on top of his back. And eventually, like... It'd run out of fruit. Okay, guess not old age. I would just die. Uh, Snorlax would kill me. Nothing I can do to fight him. He, I'd, I'd eventually wake him up, or eventually he'd wake up, notice I was there, and then kill me. Uh, just use Hyper Beam out of his eyes. Just bzz, I'm dead. These guys are all pretty obvious. I'm not winning against a legendary bird. Especially not one that's got giant talons. Kadratini I'm winning against, though. That thing's fucking useless. Um, Dragonair. Now, I, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say Dragonair does not constrict its opponents. It's not a snake, it's a dragon. And I would say it does not constrict. Shut up, phone. I'm unsure of whether or not... I've noticed I haven't, I've like put a lot in the I would definitely die. And I would also, I should have like made it like different. If we do this again, I'll, I'll do a different one. Wait, how many viewers do we have currently? Let me check. That means whether or not I'll do this again. <laughs> See, people are actually interested. The, definitely... Oh, God, shut up. 32. All right. Uh, then again, the internet is kind of dying. That's, that's probably a reason why people are leaving. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh, I don't know. Probably shoots a dragony beam at me. I'd say I'd probably die. Same Dragonite. Just a big old dragon man. I don't think I can kill him. The Mewtwo's, obviously, I don't win. Mew, I don't win either. So that's that. That's Gen 1. I think if I do this again, I'd probably do, like... Instead of chances I'd win, I would say, like, how hurt I would be. Like, I'd be... I'd, I'd be... I'd be dying... But I would win. And then this one would probably be like... 
that'd be hurting a lot, like I'd be able to get a lot of punches in. But they would win. Instead of it probably, like, maybe I would win. I, I think that's a better idea. And then there's, there'd be more in the second and third. Because at the moment, like, this is like... Gen 1 featuring <laughs> Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. Yeah. It's weird how out of place he looks, too. Just the eye. Although he doesn't look too out of place. Like, if you said Garchomp was, like, in Gen 1, it wouldn't be that out of, like... wouldn't be that crazy. Where is Garchomp? Where'd he go? I'm trying to find him. Where the fuck did I put him? This is going to annoy me until I find him. Where the shit did I put him? Oh, there he is up there. Yeah, how did I miss that? I guess I didn't expect him to be in the second. I don't know. Put him next to Nido King. Maybe he looks like he kind of fits. Gen 2 next stream? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. There's not that many Gen 2 ones, so we could probably get through all of it pretty quick. Either way, these are the Pokemon I think I could beat in a fight. Are there any I'm iffy on? Not really. Maybe Pidgeotto. I think I'd beat all the rest pretty handily. Maybe Victor Bell. Depends how it moves. Either way, thanks everybody for coming along. Uh, internet's like dying. So I'm going to go change my cable out because I bought a new one I never put it in. So I'm going to go do that and maybe work on the Power World script or something. I don't know. It's very, uh... You know, it's hard to get motivated when my channel is literally dying. So if you want to help support me, there's Patreon. Or you could use Code Radical Gamer Um... And I'll see if I can get that Power World video out pretty soon. I think it'll, it'll do well, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. See you later. Oh, perfect time for the music to fade out. <laughs>